we will install Oracle Linux release 5 update 6. We will be using this operating system for most of our demos. When we boot from the CD, it is going to ask us to test the media. We can skip this option. Once the installation GUI starts, we will continue. We will select English as the language for this installation. We will select US English keyboard system. It will warn us if we are going to erase all the data on the hard drive. We will say yes and continue. We will select to remove all partitions and create a default partition layout for Linux. It is going to confirm one more time about erasing all the data on the hard drive. Now we have two Ethernet adapters here. ETH0 will be using it as public IP or public internet uh, network connectivity. Specify the public network IP. ETH1 uh, will be using it as a private uh, Ethernet IP. Uh, for this install, uh, we will specify the private IP which can be used for uh, network storage like a SAN storage connectivity. We will specify the domain as my domain and the host name as Solid Snake. We will continue without specifying the gateway, primary DNS or the secondary DNS. Installer will warn about these things. We can continue, ignore the messages. Time zone looks ok, continue. We have to select a strong password. We will customize this installation, so we will choose customize now and we will continue to select the required packages for this installation. Now from the desktop environments, we will select genome desktop environment and select all packages from there. From applications, we will select all editors, we don't need games and entertainment. We will select the entire graphical internet packages. We don't need graphics, office productivity, sound and video. We will select everything from the text based internet. From development area, we will select development libraries. We will also select Java development. From the server section, we don't need most of these servers and we will also remove the printing support. We will select all packages from server configuration tools. From base system, we will select all administration tools, entire base. We don't need dial up networking support. We will select Java, we will select legacy software support, we will select system tools and if we go to optional packages in the system tools, we can see we have Oracle ASM packages and Oracle cluster file system packages.
So here we see Oracle ASM packages. And if we scroll up a little bit, we'll see OCFS, Oracle Cluster File System 2 packages. Close this window and we'll select all packages from X window system. We don't need anything from the cluster storage, clustering or additional languages. We can continue with the install. We'll start the installation by clicking next here. On a typical system, this will take about 40 minutes to install the whole operating system. And we will reboot the system after the installation. I'll click on reboot. Now when the server restarts, we'll proceed to post install configuration. On this screen, we have to read through the license agreement and we will say yes, I agree to the license agreement. Now on this screen, we'll disable the firewall. We can enable it later if we require. It will warn about disabling the firewall. We'll also disable the secure Linux option and installer will warn again. We don't need to enable the kdump. We can continue. Date and time looks good. Continue. We will not create any secondary user right now. It will warn, but we will ignore and continue. We don't have any sound cards, so continue. And we don't, we are done with the configuration, so we can just click finish to restart the system. Now we can log into the server as root user. Now we use this terminal a uh, lot, so we'll put an icon on the launch bar. We can open a terminal now. You can see I'm connected as root user on Solid Snake server. We can check the information about this distribution. There are two files we are checking right now, Oracle release and Red Hat release. As you know, Oracle Linux is based on Red Hat Linux, so both uh, versions are same right now, 5.6. And you can see we are running 2.6 kernel using uname command. We are checking what is the operating system version. By looking at the proc meminfo file, we can see that uh, we have about 4 GB memory and about 5 GB swap space. I 
I always like to link uh, the clear command as cls command. So we can just type cls We'll create a, a folder for software downloads, which we'll use uh, for any downloaded software. We'll log off from the system. This, with this, we have finished installing Oracle Linux.